This is the story of a few wheat farmers in the Pacific Northwest who started to notice that their soil was disappearing and wanted to do something about it. It's the story of how those same few wheat farmers had forgotten what it felt like to know their customers and how they found wholesale and retail partners with an idea of what they could do about that too. This story is about how a few farmers became a group of more than 30 farms and how those farms are saving their soil and their watersheds, growing better wheat, selling it locally, and creating a model for a hungry world. From the top of the hill on the Knollmeyer farm north of Spokane, Washington, fields of green wheat stretch in every direction. This water here travels that way. It's a hot day in July and Jim Knollmeyer has guests. They're celebrating something you can't see unless you know what you're looking at. So the idea is that all of this watershed that you can see is now 100% no-till. Your dollar spent has changed this ecosystem. No-till means no plow. Seeds are drilled directly into the earth without turning over the topsoil, which means the topsoil builds up instead of washing away. Over time, it gets better and richer instead of turning to dust. Nolmeyer was a no-till pioneer. Now he is part of Shepherd's Grain, a group of wheat farmers in the Pacific Northwest who are committed to restoring the health of their soil and their wheat through direct seed farming. See, um, one of my sayings, I'm a recovering conventional farmer, my name's Fred, and I'm eight years into my program. Shepherd's Grain founders Fred Fleming and Carl Coopers invited customers, friends, and soil scientists to celebrate the group's 10th anniversary. Soil was meant to be covered. We look at the prairie, we look at the forest, it was meant to be covered, it was meant to keep working. It's about holding on to that moisture for long enough. Shepherd's Grain is really, in many ways, the embodiment of the, fu the future that I would like to see in agriculture. They're multi-generational family farmers, and they came to a form of agriculture, a methodology, that wasn't in an effort to make more profit. It was in an effort to preserve the soil for the next generation. In Shepherd's Grain, Josh Dorf found the sustainably grown wheat he wanted for stone burr flour and he makes a point of telling his customers where their flour comes from. It's tangible, the benefit to the land, the environment, this region, by increased purchases of this wheat. The relationship with Stone Burr meant that um, in a very short period of time, Shepherd's Grain could add more farmers, could add more direct seeded acres, could in fact entice other people to switch to direct seeding, because here's a much bigger market for their product. Baker Molly Wilmot and Chef Sam Curry say they can actually measure and taste the difference in flour made from Shepherd's Grain wheat. The quality is just superb. It's just excellent. It's very consistent. And immediately we found that we didn't need to use as much flour. The first thing we notice is that it has flavor and, and smell. You actually smell the earth. Flavor has been kind of bred out of a lot of what's been grown in our country and what's been available to us. So. Until a decade ago, wheat was a commodity crop, bred for quantity, not quality, for shipment not to nearby cities, but all over the world. When you buy Shepherd's Grain products, you really are participating in the change of an ecosystem. What does that mean? In the inland northwest, it means salmon streams running clear instead of silting up with lost topsoil. It means minimal use of herbicides and careful monitoring to make sure streams are not affected and it means productive farms for future generations. What we're really losing it is, is the mid-sized farmer. And I think any business model that can um, provide the mid-sized farmer with a reason to stay in business has got a lot going for it. The problem of soil conservation is one of the very few fundamental environmental problems you can point to where the United States and Canada are world leaders in trying to address the problem. And no-till farmers are at the forefront of, the, of that effort. You have this much soil has left my farm. That is 12, 14 inches of ground has left my soil, and it's just a quiet. It's been over 50 years. 
it slowly goes away. Watching the landscape you've loved all your life literally blow away can be a powerful motivator. Soil is literally our most valuable and yet undervalued resource. We draw our sustenance from it. 97% uh, of humanity's food comes directly or indirectly from the soil. We can't afford not to take care of it over the long run. The dirt is the soul and the life of our farm. And we have the ability and the stewardship to take care of it. And without that soul and that relationship to the land, we cannot feed the world and I can't take my care of my grandkids. And so that's why it's so important to us to take care of the ground. The Shepherd's Grain farmers know they can't change the world overnight, but they are changing their world in ways we can all see and touch and taste.